from Hollywood, California. Who needs a hot dog? It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Yeah, I'll have a bite of that. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio with Like Us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. We also teach women how men think at 1-800-5-800-TOM. Dave on the Tom Like Us show with your professor. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? That's a statement. Hello? Yeah, this, hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much. I uh, got, a, got a small problem here. I'm uh, I'm dating this 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 uh this girl. We've been going out for a couple months now. Um she's uh she kind of says she's a single mom but not really. Um, wait, wait, wait. You are or you aren't? I'm sorry. Is she a single mother or not? Well, she was and then now she's not. She's she's living with her with her daughter's father. She's living with her daughter's father. Yeah. And but... having sex with him. Well, she says no. It hasn't been like that for a while. Mm hmm. That's what she tells you. Yeah. So at first I kind of believed her, but then I really didn't. Why would you ever believe that? I don't know. Well, because says, you're hot to trot with her. She says they're she says they're friends, but they're not intimate anymore. Right. And they probably sleep in the same bed too, but they don't touch. Yeah, that's that's what she's saying. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So here's the problem. We um we've been sleeping together now, and why are I you did, sleeping I, with her? I, I'm sorry. You're sleeping with a woman who was a single mother, and uh, she's telling you she's a single mother because she's telling you that she's she's uh, not married, and uh, the person she's uh, living with is not her boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. She so was never she, married. So, yeah, but for all intents and purposes, she's a single mother. Mm hmm And you're dating her. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. And what happens if she gets knocked up? Well, that's what I'm saying. With that, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't. We had sex. What do you mean you're I, hoping? You know, you can't build this stuff on hope. You have to control it. <clears throat> yeah. And let me guess, you're not using a condom. No, I always do. I only I only didn't one time. I, I haven't. Why would you it. not the one time? Why? I don't I don't I don't know. I was I was just in the mood. You're in the mood to what? To pay her for the next twenty one years? It's not really my plan. You're in the mood to pay two hundred and sixteen monthly payments? No. Huh. That's what happens when you have sex without a condom. You understand that? Yeah. But you don't care about what might happen. Well, I thought about it after, so I'm not doing that anymore. And, uh, you know, if the condom slips or breaks or leaks or whatever, you know uh, but who's going to be paying for that. Now, now, what I don't understand, she's saying, she's trying to pressure me, saying that she wants to get together and that she really is falling for me. And she oh, likes she's falling for you because she wants to move out on him and in with you. Yeah, that's what a couple people mentioned to me, too. And I just met you three minutes and 19 seconds ago, and I know the same thing about her, that you're friends now. So what is your advice on this? Stay away from it. Run as far as you can. Completely from the situation? Or yes. From yes. Don't you have any game? Yeah. Well, if you have game, you can find people who are not single mothers living with their ex-boyfriend. Yeah, I know. 
So if you've got game, go use it. Which I know I do. Then if you do, use it. Well, I'll do that. That means you run as far as you can from her. That is an effed up situation. And I guarantee you she's having sex with him right now. And you. So what do I tell her as far as... You don't have to tell her anything. It's over. Completely, huh? No, halfway. Yes, completely. Over means over. What do you think over means? Done. That's what it means. Okay. I mean, what? what is the big deal? Why are you so sentimental all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. She's... I mean, we have a good time together. We have fun together. But if you have game, you can find any number of women to do that with. Yeah, no, just, she, just, she just seemed kind of different, you know? <laughs> She's a liar. She's no different from the others. Yeah, no, I just, I kind of don't want to believe it, but... Well, come on. She's lying to him about you. She's saying that she's not having sex with anybody. And then she's lying to you about him. Well, we sleep with the same bed, but we don't even touch each other. Does her ex-boyfriend know about you? Uh, yeah. What does he know? Well, he doesn't know much. He's just... Um, that you're her friend. Well, she supposedly where she just told him we're dating, so fine, that's it. Supposedly told him. Have you ever met him? No. Why not? She lives there. So you're not allowed to come over. Yeah, but I just... I don't, I don't go... You know why and... you're not allowed to come over? Because she hasn't told him the truth. Why don't you try telling her that you'll come over and pick her up for a date? No, I already have. That's the thing. And you saw him? No, he was inside the house. Well, why don't you ask to be invited in? That's what I told her. She wanted me to walk her up, and she said no. Of course she didn't, because she's lying to him, too. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. Oh, Jesus. You're as dumb as a post. Well, I try to make the best of the situation, try to... No, you try to you try to uh, to look at it from a positive spin. Uh, you, you're hoping and dreaming and wishing like a guy who has no game. But this is the only woman who ever talked nicely to you. I have a feeling you have no game, and you're afraid to break up with her because you're afraid you can't meet other girls. Oh no, I can. That's the that's, see. This, this is the other issue with me. See, it's not about meeting other girls. That's See, I see a lot of my like cousins, brothers, friends, uncles, and everyone's basically in a couple, and I'm kind of like the only single guy, so it makes me think maybe I should just grow but, up. And... But if you have game, you should be able to find another girl just like that. But you don't, do you? No, I got game. Well, then go do it. I'm just thinking if this is a time where I should just keep dating oh, different girls and, and hanging out with different girls or just settle down and yes get a girl. you don't need to ever settle down to one girl what are you doing and by the way if you want to settle down with one girl settle down with a girl who's not a liar <clears throat> is it that hard to find one well all girls lie right well, my point to you is this is a single mother who lies. Does she tell you she's on birth control? No, she says she wants to be, though. She wants to be on birth control. What's stopping her? 
Well, we barely talked about it recently. You know what's stopping her? No. That she wants to have a baby! Don't you know that? Yeah, but I just don't understand. I mean, what? why with me? Like me? It doesn't matter. It, she just wants to have one. She doesn't care if it's with you or whoever, whatever sucker she can get to pay the bills. <laughs> like the ex-boyfriend who's paying the rent right now. You really don't know any of this stuff, do you? I know some of it, but not a lot of it. Jesus Christ. And that's why I called in. I mean, I figured you can give some good advice, and then you kind of opened my eyes. I mean, I didn't really see it from that perspective. That's the perspective you need to be looking at it in. Well, I guess I know what to do now. I don't know why it was so difficult for you to figure it out. Well, I guess, I mean, like I said, we just started dating, so... <sighs> Jesus. She wants to have a baby. <clears throat> so let's just say, worst case scenario, that were to happen... Or she tries to tell me that she's knocked up, what would you suggest I do? Or If what? I say if she were trying to say that she's pregnant or she, something of that nature. What should you do? Tell her when you see the, well, just her try to get her to have an abortion if she refuses to have it. Tell her you're not paying her a penny until you see the DNA evidence. And that's it. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right, Tom. Well, appreciate the time. And By the way, dude, uh, what do you do for a living? What I do for a living? Yeah. I'm unemployed right now. Well, I'm shocked. And uh, your degree is from which major university? No degree yet. Yet? No. Nope. So how many years have you been studying for your degree? Uh, About... Four or five. Four or five? You're going to a five-year college? Oh, no, I've, I've, I've been there for a while. What college is that? Uh, Santa Monica Community. SMC. You, it's taking you five years to do a two-year program? Yeah, I've been in and out for a while. Mm, Jesus Christ. It, you know, being in and out is what started the problem in the first place. Tom Likas, 1 800 5 800 Tom, 1 800 5 800 866. I gotta tell all my boys out there about Hail Mary's work. I've been there, done that, bought the t shirt, man. That stuff works. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Likus 101, I am your professor, 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's our telephone number. It's Gabe on the Tom Likus Show. Hello. Tom, how are you, buddy? Doing great. You know, glass caller, perfect subject, having games. I bartend, and I've been doing it for a long time. One of the worst things I see is men in bars, instead of having game, they try to send a girl a drink. And, and that, in hopes that that takes the place of their game. Now, if you're going to send a girl a drink, because your rule is $40 for dinner, well, I think that also applies at a bar. Don't be dropping cash here and there just to hope that some girl, you know, comes your way. If you're going to send them over a drink, you need to immediately follow that drink over there, sit down, and then do your duty. But if you don't have any game like that last caller had absolutely none, 
then you're not going to get anywhere. I totally agree with you, and uh, as a bartender, uh, you know, you see this stuff close up. All the time, and you know what's funny? I, I, there was a guy uh, last week that was in the pub, and I, he, his tab within about 20 minutes was up to $100 because he just kept buying random girls drinks. Oh. I, said, hey, I said, hey, Carl, you know what? Your tab is $100, buddy. You're a friend of mine. I'm going to kind of like cut you off on doing that because you dropped $100 already, and you're still going to go home alone. By the way, uh, I don't know what kind of bar you're at, but uh, do you ever get the morons who send bottles of Cristal to chicks? Uh, we're, we're actually a British pub, so we don't have we don't have Cristal, but they try to send drinks over to the entire table. And if you, as a guy, have have a one girl that you're interested in, because you're not interested in them all, you can feel it. You send a drink over, and you immediately talk to that one. You'll know within the first thirty seconds to a minute whether or not anything's going to happen or not. And if, if not, then move on. Right. So it's it, it's just amazing. And you know, one of the other things I noticed too is men they they. they they're so insecure also, like women are, that they pay so much attention to women. And women, like you said earlier, they're attention whores. So the moment you start paying attention to them, well, they're like, hey, I already got this guy, so I'm going to move on to the guy that's not paying attention to me because that's the guy that I want to land. Because if they girls are insecure and they feel, hey, this guy's not paying attention to me. What's wrong with me? I, you know, why isn't he looking at me? Doesn't he think I'm pretty? And so what, what do they do? They now are attracted to that guy. So if you don't have any game as a gentleman out there, and you have a lot of listeners that are following your rules, but you have a lot that aren't. If they don't have any game, then they need to go to a bar, sit down, you know, milk a drink for a long time, and watch the guys that are doing it, and watch how they're doing it, and watch what they're saying. That's a great way to learn. And you'll also find, Tom, that it does not take a lot of money if you have game at all. You don't have to have a You don't have to have... You, you, you really... You, you know, as a gentleman, you're going to have money, but you don't have to spend money if you have game. That last caller... Completely is not your demographic, by the way. The listeners need to know that. That's not, you know, they're like me. College graduates, you know, I just, it's amazing the things that people do. And you're, and you talk in the air every, you know, every day about what to do when people just aren't listening. I and, just want to call and tell you that. Well, I, I, again, as a bartender, Gabe, uh, you know, your opinion counts because you see this stuff close up, the stuff I tell these guys about. You're a bartender and I'm a regular bar customer. Yes. So I know what goes on at the bar. Now, Tom, you're a multimillionaire, right? That's right. You still don't drop a bunch of coin on women? I never drop a bunch of coin on women. I just that's don't do it. That's because you have what? You have game. I Tom. have game. That's right. You have game. And you don't have to be the greatest looking guy. You don't have to be the, the smartest guy. But if you have game, then, then you can be, you know, you can, you can be anything that night to that person. Bottom I've, line. I've got the most confidence of anyone at the bar. And you know what? When you walk into a bar... They don't, you know, women, as men develop their, their, their bankroll and they start earning more money, they also need to be developing their game. Because when they walk into a place, the more game they have, the more confidence they're going to have. And people are going to look at them and go, you know, they don't even have to say a word. When you walk into a room, Tom, people can feel the energy. And so these women are like, who is that? And so they're immediately going to be like attracted to this guy. Now, because of that energy, that person is going to go up to a table and he's going to have a way better chance than some dweeb just sent over a round of drinks for the girls. That's right. And uh, by the way, when you send around our drinks to the girls, what do the girls do? They all sit there like vultures and pick you apart. And you know the yeah. I'm not going exactly out with right. him or you. I don't want to talk to him. You're not going to talk to him, are you? I'm not going to talk to him. Nah. Uh, you know what? I actually, I actually do the girls a favor a lot of times. I'll say, hey, that guy over there just sent you over a drink. I just want to let you know, if you accept that drink, you know the next step, right? And they go, what? He's going to now come over and talk to you. Do you want that guy over there to come over and talk to you? Well, no, then decline the drink. That well, way it saves everybody the misery, and then I don't have to deal with it as a bartender, having to tell the guy, hey, you leave her alone. But as you <laughs> know, I'm sure as a bartender you know this, uh, certainly from their tips, women are the cheapest creatures on earth. Yes. If they ever pay for a drink at all. Yep, that's that's very true. And you know what's funny, too, is I noticed that uh, in when they're on their first date, that's when I get the biggest tips. A uh, girl or guy will tip me better to impress the one they're with, so... Uh, you know, we we uh, welcome all the first daters to come in because, you know, they're going the guy's going to impress the girl, and obviously he just spent forty dollars on drinks plus tipped me out fifteen dollars. Well, he violated the rule by fifteen bucks, and That's guess right. what? He's still going to go home alone. That's exactly right. So I just wanted to call, let you know that Tom, you are the man, and keep it up, buddy. Gabe, thank you so much for the call. It's like us one hundred one, and I'm your professor. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Professor. Hello. How are you? Great. 
I've been better. I seem to have gotten myself in quite the pickle. What happened? Well, I've been dating this girl for about eight months, and she's a student, and she still lives with her mom and her dad. So last week we went out and we partied, had kind of a late night, and she thought it'd be better if I stayed at her house, and her parents are pretty cool with that. So I said, yeah, it's probably better if I don't drive. Well, maybe I, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have stayed there. I I got up at about 3 o'clock in the morning and started rummaging around the refrigerator, and out comes mom in the teeth and bra. No. Oh, yes. And really? let's just yeah, let's just say that she nailed me. Where was dad? Um dad was working uh the beach. He's a police officer. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So That's uh, very it, bad. Yeah, very very bad. Um you know, By the way, how was mom? How was mom? Um, mom was better than the daughter. I think they talk and sh trade secrets. Uh, I guess it pays to advertise. Oh, mom, uh, he's so wonderful. Ooh. <laughs> so my question is: is uh, what what would you do in this situation? I mean, you know, dad dad's a cop. Um, of course, this is you know highly anonymous call because you know they have a way of finding things out. No, I understand. Well. Uh... <laughs> Did you uh, think about this when it was happening? Did you say to yourself, maybe I ought to tell her, no, don't do this? No. <laughs> so you don't love your girlfriend that much, do you? We lost him. Cell phone went out at a very convenient time. Or maybe it was that patrol car that was pulling up behind him at the time he made the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Randy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Randy? Okay, we'll go looking for Randy, and we'll say hi to Adrian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Man, this is actually the first time I'll, I tune in, and, and I'm actually calling in. A lot of people, I heard a lot about you. They're always telling me to go ahead and call. I just got out of a four-year relationship, so. How old are you? I'm 22. Hooray! Yeah, my my ex girlfriend was she's 21, and you know what? We're we're together for four years, and for for the first three years, I was messing around all over the place, being with girls, you know, not not being faithful to her for the first three years. This last year, I actually decided to calm it down, take her more serious. I stopped messing around, stopped hanging out with friends as much, stopped talking to other girls, and then this last year that I'm more serious with her. She, she all of a sudden breaks up with me last month. Just breaks up with me, dumps me, and says she doesn't want to be with me anymore, and just cuts it off that way. And yeah. for the first, you know, for the first three years, I'm just messing around, doing my thing. I'm trying to break up with her, and she doesn't let me break up with her. And then all of a sudden, she's the one that breaks up with no, me. No, she paid you back. Year. Exactly. All right. So there you go. Lesson learned. You know what? But now, man guess, up. <laughs> and and I was calling because it's just like it, it's been hard. It's been real hard. You know, it's it's been about a month. What is so and, hard um, about this? That it's your ego that's bruised, and that's all. Yeah, but you know what? You just like, have I a just, big ego. I don't know because for the first three years I didn't want her, and then this last year I started realizing how great she was. And then she's talking about marriage. And all this stuff, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, let, let's let's think about it. Let's wait a little bit longer. And then she she breaks up with me. We we had just came back from Vegas about a month ago, so it was like out of the blues. I didn't I didn't see it coming at all. Now, uh, again, uh, first of all, you're too young to be in this scenario, and so is she. And this is one of the dangers of being in a relationship at your age, yeah. at her age. And you know what? I she she I kept bugging her, calling her, sending her sending her flowers, trying to do the things that I never did before for the first three years. Um, after she breaks up with me, and then she still rejected me. So I'm thinking she's feeding off me, trying to talk to her, trying to um, be with her. So she's feeding off this. So she doesn't need me because she feels that she has me there. So then I finally talked to her and I tell her, you know what? You broke up with me. It is a breakup. Fine, I don't want to talk to you. Don't, you know, try not to get in contact with me. I will, I'll do the same. And then the next day, she's already calling me back. Why, do you, why are you taking her calls? Why are you doing that? 
you know what? I didn't for about a week. Then she starts calling, um, she's calling me at the job. So I finally, you know, I said, all right, I'm gonna talk to her. Yeah, I know. And I was doing so. I was doing. You're great. pathetic. You're pathetic. Yeah. You're a little that's, boy. <laughs> that's that's what everybody says, but that's what you, you know. are. So I I, t I take the calls. Um, so what is I'm, your question, Adrian? How, how do I just what do I just let let her go? Just yes. She calls back. Yes. So she misses me. She tells me she misses me, but. Do I, is she lying? Do I just let her go? Who cares? Just... Ty, this is your opportunity. You are free from jail. You didn't even know you were in jail. Yeah. Get out there and bang other chicks. You are too young. I, you know what I did? And, that, and I was okay while I was doing that for about two weeks. And it just goes away. It's like, if it's not constant, if I'm not being with other girls constantly, it's just, I think about her again and there I go calling her again. Stop it. Just, really just just stay away from her completely one hundred percent? Yes. Why does she call though? Why does she call me? Who cares? We can we can't control her. We can only control you. Sure. Ever heard of caller ID? Yeah. Use it. I'll I'll continue to I guess reject the call if she calls back. That's right. Yeah. Be done with it. End of story. Thank you. Thank you. Just past half past the hour on Like Us 101, the Tom Like Us show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Michelle on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right. Um. Well, I'm 19, and I'm actually planning on getting married in a month. And to tell you the truth, I kind of having second thoughts. I don't know if it's a good thing, and I just kind of want to get a second opinion to see if I'm if you think I'm ready. At 19, you're not ready. That's it. <laughs> so, I mean, he's a good guy. So Doesn't I mean, matter. Then he'll be a good guy in six years. So do you think I should just hold it off and keep it a same relationship? You know, together. I and don't. I don't think you should be in a serious relationship. What college are you attending? I'm actually working full time right Not now. Not a good idea, darling. Not a good idea. Have you looked at the economy lately? No. All right, darling. That's probably because you're so busy working at your full time job, making eight dollars an hour, whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're making? I I make eleven dollars. Ooh, still my beating heart. So you're making four hundred and forty dollars a week. Yeah. Right. Plus bonuses. <laughs> Ooh, how much do you make per year? Per year, I probably make about twenty four thousand. Twenty four thousand that uh, lands you right at the poverty level. Yeah, darling, uh, the unemployment rate is now the highest it's been in eight years. Major American banks and brokerage companies are failing. Mm -hmm. The economy is in a free fall. People with the most education are the ones who will keep their jobs. People with less education are the people who will get laid off and won't be able to find new jobs. At 19, you belong in college. Okay. Starting next semester. Okay. Period. No okay. getting married, no having babies, no causing more problems in your life. Okay. So what do you what do you suggest I can do? Should I'm telling you what to do. To Stop cool? having your relationship should be with a book. Okay. What are the chances of doing it both, school and being unlikely? In a relationship? Unlikely. Relationships drag you away from your studies. I mean, right now the main reason the main reason you're not in college is because you have a boyfriend. Okay. Isn't yeah. that right? It's not one of the main reasons. But it's not it's one of the, one of the three. What are the three top reasons? Well, right now is to financially be stable and be able to live on my own, which I am doing now. Well, maybe so. you shouldn't be living on your own. Maybe you live with your parents and you go to college. Can't stand my parents. <laughs> well, guess what? It's a free meal. Okay. So just wait it off, okay? School. School's more important. S again, 
you're too young to remember a bad economy, darling. Okay. When the economy is bad, people lose their jobs. Then what happens to your apartment? Then I won't be able to afford it and I'll have to move back in with my parents. Right. Might as well do it now and get a degree or two. Okay. Stop with I'll, the boyfriend. I'll actually... I'll move in. I'll probably start going into school for a veterinarian or something. That's something I've always wanted to try, and I've looked into it for the past month, and I've been kind of looking for the right school to attend. So I've been looking for the right degree, and, I mean, maybe I'll just start stepping forward to that more instead of getting married. Uh, well, I think that would be a good uh, And, by the way, instead of having this relationship. Okay. You don't have time for this relationship. What about if he doesn't go to school? It, again, he should be going to school, but that's not your problem. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Your problem is you. Okay. Are you capable of doing that? I am, yeah. You don't get I'm along with your parents, so your father can't come kick your ass. Somebody's got to. You belong in school. Okay, so I'll take your advice and I'll look into. By the school. way, did you say he also doesn't have a job? No, actually, he, has, he he actually has a career. It's a very good job. Yeah, what is it? He works at a paper mill. <laughs> what kind of career is that? Well, he makes up to sixty thousand dollars a year. So. Darling, um, in Southern California, that's not a lot of money. For 20 years old, that's pretty good. Again, but you know what? For 20 years old, it's pretty good. But you know what? He'll be making at 30, sixty-five thousand dollars a year. You know what? He may get forty, six, seventy thousand dollars a year. I mean, he's pretty much maxed out on how much he's going to make. Okay. All right, but without a degree, that's what happens. Okay. It's like all these guys go, well, I'm in construction. I'm making really good money. How much are you making? Well, I'm making th $30 an hour. Well, that's great. And in 30 years, when your back gives out, you'll be making $32 an hour. Okay, well, how do I know if he's ready? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Who cares? You're going to school. All right. All right, well, thank do you, you so understand much. that? Are you, now you're going to do what I'm telling you or not? I am. I'm going to take your advice and I'm going to go from it. And and hopefully about a couple of years from now, I can give you a call back and say thank you for helping me with my school. To make if he is truly the love of your life, when you have your degree and your name is Dr. Michelle and you've opened a practice and you're making real money with a degree... If he's the love of your life, he'll still be out there somewhere. Yeah, that's true. That's but you're going to find out how much he's not the love of your life. Because he's not waiting around for that to happen. Forget it. Okay, well, thank you so much for your advice. All right, darling. Thank you very much for the call. 1-800-LIKE-IT. Tom, Tom. 800 tom like it. like it. 866 tom like it like it tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. Sex feels good. The world needs to take sex less seriously and find, you know, better ways to have it. And if you want world peace, you know, bang the guy next to you right now. You know, just go up to him for no reason. Don't ask his name. Don't ask if he's got a family. Just have sex with him. The world will be a better place. The Tom Likey Show. Well, Hollywood, it's like it's 101. I'm Professor Tom Likas at one 800 800 tom It's Greg on Likas 101. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Great. How's everything going? Just as good as it was when you asked me three seconds ago. <laughs> All right, Tom. I need some advice, bro. Um, I met this... Uh, okay, I met a single mom probably about, it was about a week ago. Met her at Starbucks, you know, started talking, blah, blah, blah. You know, to make a long story short, I got to hook up with her tonight. Now, do I go along with it? Do I go through with it? Or should I just 
you know, blow her up. I tell you, single moms are out. Um, she's a 10. <laughs> she's a 10 who uh, probably does not use birth control. You don't get a you don't get a ten without uh, believe me. There's no free lunch. But see, the thing is, I'm snipped. I mean, I'm cut. I don't have to worry about. Oh that. well, then go for it. You know, you go for it. Well, if your sperm count is zero and you know it for sure. All right, Tom. Can you blow me up? Yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here comes Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. Hey man. I'm, I'm, I feel sorry for you, man. You gotta listen. To all these goddamn pussies calling in. Every you know, I follow you to a. Oh seat. Right. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a zero tolerance policy on that. Come on. Yeah. You can't use the p word when you're referring to a vagina. You can't. You can say, this is Fluffy, my pussycat. You can. That's about it. You know, as the rooster once said, cock-a-doodle-doo. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Armin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, first of all, I love your show, and pretty much everything you say is absolutely true. Thank you. Um, so my question, well, con question concern everything about is about the guys who buy girls drinks at bars. Right. Oh, first of all, I feel bad for those guys Fools. because me being a girl at a bar, this is pretty much, I'll tell the guys right now, when a girl is attracted towards you, they'll give you that look with their eyes. If they don't look at you or anything, that means they're not attracted to you at all. So when I see a guy at a bar that, oh, I'm attracted to, I will look at them. But when guys just come up to me and they go, can I buy you a drink? First of all, I say no because I could care less about that guy. Because if I'm not the one that's making initiative to even look at you, that means I could care less about you. Right. You know? So right. I feel bad for these guys wasting their time. So, for instance, let me tell you this one story. We were at Vegas one time. This guy comes up to me, and it's me and three of my chick friends. And he comes up to me. He's all like, oh, you think uh, I could buy you a drink? I'm like, sure. How about make that four, you know? For me and my girls. And he says, okay. And I'm like, why don't you buy yourself a drink, too? You know, that's fine. Why not drink? He buys us a drink, we drink, and then we just walk away. That's right. And you all laughed at him, too, right? I just feel so bad for that guy. You know, like, you just No, you like, don't. If you, if you felt bad for him, you wouldn't have taken the drink. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't feel bad for that. I just feel bad for him being stupid enough to do that. Like, don't you have common No, sense? you love the fact that he's stupid. <laughs> But most of the time, I really, I always say no just because I could care less. I have my own money. I could buy my own drinks. I'm not there for, you know. Obviously, a lot of girls are there for guys to buy them drinks just so, you know, they don't waste their money. If but a hot guy bought you a drink, you might be interested. That, of course. But I'll give the look, you know, because most of the time, the hot guys I are mean, the ones that don't, don't go towards the girls. Yeah, I mean, yeah well, that, there you go. The hot guys are the ones who don't go towards the girls. The guys with game don't approach you. Exactly. exactly. Which is what I tell the guys all the time. And they won't listen. Right. <laughs> And I felt bad for the girls with getting married. She 19. She said, oh, I feel so bad for her. I'm 22 right now. I'm about to graduate this spring. You know, I have my degree that I'm going to be graduating with. And I still, I'm kind of scared, like, if I'm going to have a good income. She has no job, and she's not even worried about that. I know. I was like, wow, like, what is this world coming to? The people who are smart are worrying about it, and the people who are just down there and, you know. I was all like, she'll tell me I was making 20 grand. That's n that's like nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I could support. Maybe like a car payment. Maybe I don't know. I make $400 a week. I was like, I no, I feel too bad for you. But seriously, this guy, like, really, like, don't waste your money. Like, you're not going to get anything out of it. Unless you go after a big chick or an ugly one, then you could. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how those work. Now, if you're going after a big chick, buy her food. <laughs> Get her some exactly. onion rings or something. But seriously, if you're going to go after a good-looking one, first of all, make sure, like, you already know if you have the game to even go for a girl. You know, you don't need to be going and getting a drink. Like, I don't even know how much I could stress that, but I just feel bad. I don't think you feel that bad. Oh, man. <laughs> but anyway, I've been a long-time listener. It's my second time calling you, and just want to say I love your show, and I just had to give my input on that. <laughs> Armin, thank you very much. It's Like Us 101. I am your professor. By the way, you can always send us an email, and we'll read it on the air, and maybe we'll use it on next week's edition of Like Us 101. Send it to tom at blowmeuptom.com.
Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Jose, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Um, I want you to assess my situation and fix it. I'm uh, 22. I'm going to be 23. And I don't have anything. But I want to have a lot. You don't of have anything? Nothing. I have some. Well, you have, a, you have a cell phone. Oh, yeah, but I'm so depressed that the government pays for it. You're depressed? Yeah. Why don't you have anything? Well, I guess because uh, I, I've made bad decisions in the past. There we go. Um, I don't and, have a girlfriend. And you, you graduated from which university? I didn't even go to Bonham Young University. There we go. So what do you think I should do? Go to school? School's, I live with my parents. School's a good idea. I've thought about school, but I can't even get there. I don't even have a car. Well, why don't we start with a school that's near home? By the way, can't you buy a beater? I have a bike. You are pathetic. <laughs> So what I do, go to school? My guess is if you tell your parents you want to go to school, they'll get very excited. And they'll help you any way they can. Such as they can. Our email address again, tom at blowmeuptom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.